Okay. Um, the sons of Ishmael. This was this is the account of Abraham's son Ishmael, whom Sarah's maidservant Hagar the Egyptian bore Abraham. You know, if this was a myth, you think they would not care a bit about Ishmael and only focus in on Israel exclusively right now? They're not. <clears throat> so I say that gives them more credibility. <clears throat> anyway, these are the names and sons of Ishmael. <clears throat> listed in order of their births. Nibathan, the firstborn of Ishmael, Kedor, Adbel, Mibsam, Misema, Duma, Massa, Hadad, Tima, Jator, Nafish, Kedema, Yes, these were the sons of Ishmael, and these are the names of the twelve tribal rulers according to their settlements and plan and camps. Altogether, Ishmael lived a hundred and thirty-three years. He breathed his last and died, and he was gathered to his people. His descendants settled in the area of Hava to Sor, to Seor, S U. Are near the border of Egypt as you go towards Ashar. And they lived in hostility or to the east of all their brothers. <clears throat> Interesting. <laughs> this is dust. What are you loading? Um, can I? Hmm. Look up either of these two places. Sure. Where did that go? Oh, it does. There's a map. Um. Hmm. Sort of a map. Not very specific map. Somewhere in the Sinai Peninsula. Uh, maybe like the cross like that, but yeah, they lived in Saudi Arabia, mainly down there, east. I guess it's us, it's Israel. Well, modern day Saudi Arabia then spread out through the rest of the Arabian Peninsula. Yeah, it's part of the Arabian Desert. Well, torment and I dealt. James Uckoff Hefferman believes the valley source located in Latte, an Arab gold strip of land and desert from this one area to the other area. Yeah. Um, and that is Jane K. Hefferman, a minor major geographical issue. And then count exits. Uh huh. Oh, so he thinks this is all made up. Because that's where he thinks that's where. Because he thought it's located here, near Egypt. Or he could just, you know. Be wrong, and that's not where that's located at all. <laughs> what about the other one? Hevelia? Hevelia. What's that on your phone? Hevelia. H A V I L A H. I wonder, do atheists, I, I bet some do, but some just be never to think that they could be the one off ones. Yeah, that's... Mm, some people think it's in Armenia, Turkey, and other parts. Huh? That 
general area and area. So there are some actual biblical narratives mentioned by pseudo cell as a source of the area. Pseudo cell. Okay, Twilo. Um, Twilo Babel, possible location. This the yeah, that's like on the side of the Arabian Peninsula, closer to the Persian Gulf. Oh, seriously, that guy's like, oh, it must have been in Egypt. Like, yeah, the people living around here for thousands of thousands of years don't know the geology of the place. They've been living around thousands of thousands of years. Like, dude, I'm pretty sure, even if you think the Bible's fake, a bunch of nonsense, you would pretty well known that they would... No, because they've been living in the Middle East for years. That Egypt's not wet east of Canaan. I'm pretty sure the ancient people weren't that stupid. <laughs> Dude, that's you. Speaking of, we, apparently someone also believes August D. Ken Haley believed that the land of Hera was originally centered on Great Zimbabwe? What? Yeah. In the gold of Ophir, once brought by... By whom? And obviously, Richard, archaeologists studying rejected the idea because it's absolutely insane. Yeah, so... Then it said East. I'm pretty sure they knew what East was. It has so many people always... Assume um, when they're trying to debunk the Bible that the native ancient people were a bunch of idiots who had no idea about basic things. <laughs> it it's really astounding. Anyway, so Ishmael's first son means heights. Second son, dark. Third son. Chastened by God. Third, no oh wait, fourth would be sweet or odor, odor. Miss him, fifth, yeah, in a hearing. Um, six, silence. Silence, you. Wait, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventh, bourbon. Eighth, mighty. Ninth, desert. Tenth, enclosed. Interesting. This is enclosed area since I don't know. Names usually meant things back then. Anyway, 11th, refreshment. Yes. And 12th, yeah, 12. 12 sons of Ishmael. Interesting. Would mean original. I don't want to hear what they've, how you actually pronounce it. Strong's H5032. Nevia. Nevia. And second entry, Nebayot. Nebayot. There. What about this one? Strong's 8, 6938. Tibar. Tibar. You know, just all you have to do to find these, just go to. The last video I did, and there's a link to literally a section where you can go find all these in their pronunciations. Strong's age, 1746. Duma. Duma. And 
meanings and stuff. It's on a website called the Blue Letter Bible. Yes. Um, other places. It does come up again. So, yeah, and these are the tribes of the Arabs. I think they do use different names, though. Like, Psalms 8, 2301. Chadad. Chadad. No idea who that guy is. Um, anyway, go watch my other videos. Yeah, that is all for today.